Hey guys, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. And my name is Captain Cricket, and I'm here, well, <laughs> to try to show you how I play. So, a while back, I'd heard that if you went up toward the North Pole, that your day nighttime cycles would be shorter. And I just come to find out that's really true. Um, I literally have only been here maybe five minutes. I am from the last episode, if you remember. We stopped right here at this little bandit in place. Uh, I figured, you know what? It was high time that I got a light mounted. And I've done exactly that. I got a light mounted and a, uh, a detector. Um, in case you don't know what they do, they basically... Oh, well, wrong button. Um, ah, never mind. Um... What it does is it helps detect objects. It could be ore, it could be aliens, it could be uh, uh, ships, it could be any number of things. And if you look toward the top right of my screen, you'll see the red markings now. And that's basically it all that's doing is telling us, hey, we got one, two, three, or four, some, some amount of things over in that direction. Toward the south, we got a whole bunch of stuff. It doesn't mean whether it's good or bad. Um, it's just that's something. Um... You know, we've been pretty lucky so far. Yeah, I got tons of crap all over the place. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm thinking that's not looking so good. That looks very alien in nature. It looks like one of my ship designs, a cube. <laughs> but let's, let's take a little closer. I do believe that's turrets. Uh, oh, roll, baby, roll. There you are. Let's get a little more height. You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, that's big. Nah. Oh, shit. That's the drone base. Oh, hell no. Oh, that is not what I wanted to run into. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Are they following me? No. Wow. Dude. I just found the drone base. Oh, hello, guys. You're dying. Whoops. Maybe. Oh, it's an alien Xurex guy. You're kidding me. Holy shit! Alright. Uh, ah! Can we mow him before he kills me, please? got things screwed up. Alright, well, and then he could see something else behind it. Alright, I'm glad the drones haven't popped out to come eat me. Um, because this thing, not very heavily armored. <laughs> but, let's get everything we can from this guy. Hey, salami! And he's over here. Ooh! Ooh, that's Pentax! Holy shit! Nice! Uh, we need that for warping. Alright, not a bad way to get a little XP. And, uh,. And freebies. Well, I was a little scared about that drone base. But now that we know where it's at. That's actually a big help. I don't know 
if I can... Yeah, we'll put a target symbol on that one. Alrighty, so we will not be continuing that way. And that means any attacks to our house are going to be coming over the entire mountain range. And that's the way I got to set up my defenses. So on a good note... Kind of want to get that last block. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just head south. Uh, my, ooh, there's a tower of some kind, but it gets hard to hover through here. Uh, um, my cave opening is facing the exact opposite direction, so, uh, where the hell's fortification? Over there, and a drone. Oh, and, uh, something else. We have a variety of of uh, alien doohickeys people. Oh, I gotta grab these two vegetables. Is that drone coming this way? No, he's not. Oh, what's that? There you are, you bastards. Alright, thanks for the free XP. So we're just gonna be the two of you? funny. I gotta fly the ship in third person, but I gotta play my character in first. It just feels weird to me otherwise. I'm wondering how much damage we've got taken to this thing. Surprise it's still in one piece. Alright, I am curious. I don't know if I want to try and run through this. this zone to find out what in the world that is. Right now I'm very, very, oh, hello, ill-prepared. You're kidding. They're shooting. They're shooting. Oh, I'm out of here. Bye-bye. And what's that? An alien watchtower. Are you going to shoot at me too? Is that a patrol group? What is that? It is. Oops, come on, get up, get up. Who's shooting? You are. And that, my friend, who is level 10. And, uh, you can understand why now I do not go seeking the aliens out. Um, they generally kick my ass. I have bad aim. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Shitty reflexes and poor eyesight. <laughs> Wow, I am surrounded by nasty things. I think these uh, these are regular like alien things, but these with the chevrons, I believe they're part of that Robinson Protocol mission. So even though we're not technically doing the Robinson Protocol, um, oh shit, damn, there's another one. Oh, uh, really? I thought we were producing oxygen in our ship. What the hell? Now who's shooting at me? Is it that thing? What the hell? <laughs> Leave me alone! Um... Right, let's go find out what that is. Well, I'm actually kind of starting to like the desert a little better to go fly around through. But that might not be good. Oh, it's the armory. Wow. 
Another patrol. All right, dude. We're just getting out of here. I'm going to end up getting my little ship blown the hell up. And I don't want it to be blown up. All right. There we go. Oh, what's that? Another thing? Dude! I am surrounded by bad things. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far this has been a pretty exciting trip. Anyway, like I said, my aim sucks. <laughs> my reflexes suck. I'm old. That's part of the problem. So, I'm not as good at these things. I think the mainframe I've discovered previously. That's the floating thing in the sky. Uh... If it is that one. Yeah, yeah, it's in that... The bad zone. Alright, let's head home. Uh, I've hit level 10, which is one of the things I I had wanted to do. Uh, in order to... Ooh, 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 sorry. <laughs> These guys? I think they changed the, um, the setup. Uh, this will be only in the desert which was how it was before um, but only at night as well and I was told you harvest them there you go not only do you get a fine amount of uh, experience points so that was 2,000 right there but they have Prometheum and gold and you can find oops what the hell <gasps> Ah, I'm full up. All right, drink the water. Let's grab that. Uh, what don't I need? Oh, let's take some air. Let's eat my salami. Gotta have the gold. And uh, oh, you know what? here, I don't need any more spoiled food. Here we go. Definitely time to get back. Push comes to shove. I can always. Come on. Um. What was I going to say? Push comes to shove, I do have a cargo bay in here. So I could have used that, but I don't need more spoiled food. If you see any more desert golems, though, those guys are kick-ass. And that's fairly easy farming. And a great reward. You know, not only the XP, but just the, uh, the items you can get out of them. I'm surprised it hasn't been nerfed yet are just not that hard to take down. Uh, I imagine things will continue to change though. This is just an alpha. and it has been for years. <laughs> Although it's probably one of the more playable and fun alphas I've done. So, you see any trees growing out there? Eh, just the bush. Not really, not yet. Little scragglers I might have left. Alright. Oof, down to 18 minutes. Where's my stuff? I lost. what did I do? Lose my base? Am I just blind? Oh, there it is. There's my hole. Alright, so let's take you. Okay, we're going to kill all power to you. Oops. Um, one of the things, let's see. Yeah, I oh, don't know, I still have 73% fuel, alright. Manage. I need more of those big oxygen tanks now. Alright, now it's a little time to get a little more serious about my oxygen needs. But, let's see, hold on real quick. I'll just squirt one of these. Alright, so, the blueprint. So, I'm going to do the nibbler miner next, okay? And, you know, you saw me pick it. Basically, you choose it here. You go to factory. That sends it in the factory. You got iron, copper, and silicon. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, let me unload my crap. <laughs> and, considering I'm using everything in this constructor. We'll keep that. Keep that. Glass plate. I got lots of wood. I forgot all about that. Oh, oh, 
we got to turn you back on. Boink. Uh, power on, and let's try to get the production on, which really sucks down the power, unfortunately, but... It is what it is. I want the big oxygen. What is that? Do 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 do. Just to get a couple to get started. There we go. Like ten. And they're made directly from water and steel plates. But they hold 250. That's what we use to recharge the ship. Ah, oh, Pentax hat. Uh, some meat. Yeah, that's the problem. I left with having a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got veggies. Just make the energy bar. Eat one of these before they go bad. Okay. I'll let the rest of that go. Oh, 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 oh. we're going to change some of the stuff and refine. But, damn, I kind of wanted to start the base. Uh, 270 iron, 130 copper, 167. Ugh. Ugh, I'm a little shy on the copper. Uh, hmm. To build the base or to build the machine that will seriously let me dig crap out now in that the Robinson area. All the materials I need quickly <laughs> to build the base even faster. Yeah, let's let's do the other machine. Alright. This may be ass backwards, the hell of it. You here, here, and here. Oh, except I think you need metal. Just to finish off there. You know what? The heck with it. That's the last air. What else do we need? Crushed stone. So it makes my concrete blocks. There we go. Alright, cool. Now, P menu, now we can refill the air tank. There we go. Yeah, won't let me, won't let me put extra in. Alright, we'll get there, little by little, it is a process. Um, holy shit, I've been yapping for 18 minutes already. Alright, time seems to go by, go by, pretty quickly. What does this do? Oh, I think I just turns on the machine. And why wouldn't the machine be on? Don't know. That is on this side. So let's fill it up. There you are. Uh, that one's empty. Harvest box? Did we harvest? Alright, nothing in there. Alright, cool. Um, shit. Uh, maybe I ought to just call it an episode. Well, just to show you what's going on. Oop, don't need that there. We're gonna need more ammo. I'll have to see what kind of ammo we use. Oh, we have meat? We do have meat. Uh, okay. Alright, so. Did I grab the materials? Probably not. Alright, let's grab whatever iron I get left. Alright, so. If you've never done a blueprint before, you go to your blueprint blueprints. Alright, we've already put the nibbler over here. So this is just telling you the amount of items you need. Uh, screw it. We're going to head back with that. Eh, copper. You throw it in there. And silicon. I'm a little short on everything. Gonna put some of this in the cargo box that I just don't need right now. I 
I assume it won't get destroyed here. We'll throw the oxygen in there. I'll keep the biofuel on me. Alright. I'm starting to lug around too much crap. I don't need a tent. We'll do half the water. Don't need a flashlight. We'll keep the bandage. Pills. Alright. Alright. Trying to get a little more organized. Don't need another motorbike. Uh, I got that pistol's pure emergency, buddy. All right, and uh, let's we're gonna split my wood logs. Oh, and thanks for the food. Let's eat a piece. Let's just throw. Oh, all right, 124. That's plenty for in there now. Let's kill the power to this. Not manufacturing anything else. These guys, there you go. And keep making biofuel. And there you go. Keep making biofuel. The biofuel's important right now. Although, starting to be less important. I have more than enough damn oxygen. Alright, we're not going to fill that back up. And we're going to let the biofuel go on those. That will probably be what we use to start the base and whatnot. We are going to call it a day. I'm going to head over to the Robinson area. It should be safe enough to do so. By motorbike not the harvester and um, go dig out the remaining ore that we need uh, to complete the next item and I'll probably actually create the blueprint way over there because uh, the motorcycle is portable and uh, at that point we'll finish completely digging out the Robinson area and then we'll be able to come here with the machine I hope that's the plan uh, anyway, as always, uh, if you like what you're listening to, if you think I'm improving, leave me a comment. If I'm screwing up, eh, feel free to tell me that too. Um, hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye, and have a good one.